guys. I'm looking for everyone that's using the location thing and how you found me on here. I'm just curious if it was iOS or Android. But if you're from Minnesota, uh, take a moment to follow me. God Explorer, good to see you again. Shopman, good to see you again. Good to see some of the Minnesota people in here. Giant Tweeter, good to see you. If you guys are from Minnesota, I'd love to have you following me. Um, just swipe up or swipe left or right. Dog602, good to see ya. And then you guys can go ahead and follow me. And that way, we're in Minnesota. It's good to know some other fellow periscopers in Minnesota because not enough people know about this periscope thing. So I'm looking for a few people from the Minnesota area here to go ahead and uh, follow me. Uh, hi, Northfield. Yep, good to see you, Northfield. I think I don't know if I've been in Northfield in a long time, but I got a car I've had for 19 years, and I think I bought it in Northfield, if I remember correctly. It's a, it was a long ways away from Minneapolis, but um, Penrod, good to see you. Um, what is that? I don't know. Uh, I am in Lake Street, uptown Minneapolis. Uh, my battery got down to 10%. So there's these trees along <clears throat> West Lake Street, and I'm plugged into it. I'm plugged into a tree getting power. So I think that's pretty cool, but it's not, um, it's not charging very quickly, and I think most of you guys probably know this better than me, but I think if you're using Periscope while you've got your phone plugged in, I don't think it charges very quickly. In St. Cloud, cool, yeah. I was over at the hospital in St. Cloud about a year ago, uh, for my dad and uh um yeah so i've been up to st cloud i know it's a big party town and stuff and uh, a lot of rentals and stuff out there but um we're by the old porkies oh, okay i didn't see the by the old porkies i right, were you talking was there another one besides uh st paul the porkies uh Emilio's is closed but yes i'm right next to Emilio's. Um, but you know Emilio, you know pretty much everything on that block right there is pretty much closed now, right? I don't know if you know that, but they the, the cars closed and they opened up uh, um, the iron uh, door there, pub, and that's actually got a really good burger. And then the country bar closed, uh, the metaphysical building moved. Uh, hi, Carl, good to see you. The uh, They just repainted that right there, too, by the way did an overhaul on the painting um that place is out of business and then that other place right there the um uh euro place with flawful king they removed um Melios is gone the place next door to it serendipity is closed so like six of those places all right there we've, without even moving 15 feet six of those places went out of business uh but they opened the iron pub now lake street yep private limo good to see ya private limo do you run your uh private limo on periscope Jesus Justice, I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, your private limo, do you run it um, on Periscope? That'd be kind of cool if you did. Hi, Scoot24, good to see you. Hey, is everybody in here from Minnesota? Because that's pretty cool that we have this many people finally on Periscope from Minnesota. Not at the moment. Oh, okay. Um, okay, well, um, cool. What city is everybody from in Minnesota? It's good to see you guys, Minnesota. What city is everybody from? St. Cloud. Okay, yeah. I know some people are using the uh, local phone app and stuff. Monomedi, Blaine, Blaine. Okay. Monomedi, Blaine, Apple Valley. I know Blaine somewhat well. Apple Valley, I never make it out there. Never heard of Mountain Lake. Monomedi, I just have a story from 20 years ago, but I don't I don't know uh, New York City. Okay, I don't know. I haven't been out to Monomedi really. Ivan, whatever. You're on Lake Street, I am, all things Minnesota. Uh, yep, I'm on Lake Street. Do you, re you recognize it? Over near Lindale and stuff? Was well, good. Clippers fan, I, I live over in the, down the road a little bit, and the reason I'm in Lake Street, well, I, I wander around Lake Street, but um, I uh, my phone is almost dead, so I just, where are you there? Uh, private limo. Um, are you picking me up in a private limo? I'm over near Super America over here, near Bryant and Lake. I... Uh, <laughs> my phone was kind of low and barely had any juice left in it so I uh, I just went to plug it in here yeah I'm on Lake Street but I, apparently a lot of people recognize Lake Street I don't know if it's because they can read the Lake Street on the bus thing over there but a lot of people <laughs> recognize the Lake Street but I think some I don't know either you guys recognize it MLS photography good to see ya 
Um, do you, MLS photography, are you doing MLS uh, real estate MLS? You live in the condos by Stella's. I don't. If you're talking about the walkway, the walkway, I got friends that live there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, plugged into a random outlet. <laughs> Dead giveaway. Um, I'd always been there. Why? I don't see it. You know what's really interesting? This is this is what's really interesting, guys. I have done, in five weeks, I've done about 500 broadcasts. And this is by far the most any people have commented. And what's interesting about it is the last couple I've done have been Minnesota ones. And I, I, wonder, I wonder if the psychology of people is they just feel like commenting if they know people live, like, near them. Because... Uh, yeah, people seem to be a lot more open to commenting right now than they usually are. So I'm almost wondering if it's just because we're all local and it's a release. Yeah, I mean, we're. I, I definitely agree that the commenting is a release. Um, but what I was saying is based on like doing like 500 of these, I've only done like maybe one or two before five minutes ago where I mentioned even like it's just Minnesota people, you know. It's Yeah, it's not as big in the Midwest. I totally agree. Um, I think it is going to take a while to catch on. I mean, most people I know don't even know about it. <laughs> We're all frustrated with Walter Palmer. Yeah, yeah. I uh, actually have a really good friend. His his father-in-law is uh, another dentist over closer to Egan, not that dentist. But, man, yeah, it's, we sure got famous really fast from that dentist. Love Plymouth, Minnesota. I love Plymouth, too. I worked there for five years. I live in Maple Grove for ten years. And I worked in Plymouth for five years in the building near Hunan, um, uh, near a Hunan restaurant. It's over near a pizza place now. And uh, still uptown. I'm in uptown. Yep. I worked at Plymouth uh, building in uh, South Shore Drive and uh, uh, Highway 55. Uh, no, don't know Chris, who that is. Hey, right. unplug, man. Unplug, <laughs> bro. What do you do? Um, I, I'm a I'm an internet marketer. I'm standing here because I'm getting I'm getting internet charged on my phone here. And near Eagle Lake, I don't know very much. Um, Maple Grove, yeah, about ten years. Charging his phone, yep. Uh, Chris Hockey doesn't sound that familiar to me. K fan, obviously, does. Um, hey guys, so get this. I was talking to my friend today. We had this uh, mobile plan. He said I upped you to the 30 gig data plan. 30 gigs. I'm do. I was doing like a gig a day on this for all the data and stuff. I don't know. Is is anybody else here doing a gig a day? That's a lot of data that I'm pushing through. So um, yeah. So I, I'm just trying to take it in bits and pieces right now. I was just charging my phone. Yeah, by a, a yeah charger. So the charger is one problem I'm having. The data is a much much bigger problem right now. But all things Minnesota, tell us what you do and everything. Um, Ivan Chan, good to see you again. Um, yeah, it's it's good to see a lot of you know familiar faces on here and a lot of people from Minnesota. And uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks Garrett for uh, being on here. And Penrod, thanks for joining. I tell you what, I'm going to do a lot more of these Minnesota ones. They're a lot more fun because just knowing a lot of these people are from Minnesota and we can all just kind of connect down here and stuff. It's kind of cool. And we all, like, recognize where we're at and all that kind of stuff. And that's that makes it even more cool that I didn't realize so many people would recognize us just by standing over near this corner. So, uh, Chris Belden, good to see you. I'm going to just sign off for a second, and I'll be on in just a bit. But it's good to see